Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a video that has been highly requested from you guys. I've been promising you it. So I already did a video, first impressions, trying out the new Scott Barnes palettes. And I did not get a chance to try the Color Bomb palette. So here we are trying out the Color Bomb palette. I also give you an update on how the other palettes are working for me since I've had them for a few weeks now. And we dig into this beauty as well. So this is the main focus of the video, but of course I also go into the other palettes and tell you my experiences with them, what I found worked for me, what I found didn't work for me. But yeah, if you want to see me using this and how I did this absolutely stunning look, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I know I look scary right now. I only have foundation on and we're going to be playing finally with the Color Bomb palette like you guys have been asking me. I tried to use as many colors as possible. Obviously there are 20 colors, so it's very difficult to use 20 colors on my eyes, but I tried to play with as many of the colorful shades that I could. As you can see right here, we have a lot of more neutral shades. I stayed away from most of this area because I know they're good. He has a really good shimmer formula. So I wanted to play here with the mattes, see what I think of them, and play a little bit more with his like shimmery glitter kind of colors. For the base, I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I think if you use like a P. Louise base, that's going to make the colors pop a little bit brighter. Because I will say with the colorful mattes, what I noticed from this eye is they're very soft and easy to work with and they're more buildable. So you're not going to get instant pigment right away. So the first color that I'm playing with right now is Vibes. I'm using that as just my inner corner kind of transition shade right here. As you can see, not super duper pigmented, but it has more of like a sheer kind of color to it, but it still is like a good quality yellow. And then this one was more just for me to try the color, but I'm gonna take some of Koi. So this is more of a baby blue color. This color, just kind of for the purpose that I'm using it for in this video, is kind of useless, but it's a pretty nice baby blue color. What I really like about this specific shade is that it's not too powdery. A lot of times with these kind of more pastel shades, you'll find that there's a lot of fallout. It's <laughs> very powdery, blends away. This is actually a very nice baby blue color. So if I ever need a baby blue for a look, this is probably the best baby blue in my collection. So now we're gonna start building on the blues. So I'm taking Mediterranean right here. And again, like I said, pretty nice buildable formula. So I'm putting the least amount of product right here. And then I'm going to pack it on out here. What I really like about these mattes is that they aren't too powdery. I think that's really great because with a lot more colorful kind of shades, you'll find that they are super duper powdery. This does not have a lot of fallout, so it's going to make the product last longer. So as you can see, I am packing the product on out here, and then whatever is left over on my brush, I'm going to blend it towards here. We're going to add more yellow just to make the blue turn into a green. So I'm wiping my brush right now so that we can work on blending the harshness. Super easy to work with. I'm very impressed even with this colored palette. Okay, and then I'm going to take just a touch more of the yellow. See if we can create more of like a green here. A little bit more of Mediterranean. And just to kind of play, I think typically I would leave it like this, but I wanted to play with more colors. I took Secret Service, which is a black with silver glitters. I didn't notice any of the silver glitters coming up on my eye. And we're just going to kind of use that to smoke everything, like right in this outer corner. And I kind of bring it along the lower lash line as well for the lid colors to lay on. Black tells a lot about the quality of a palette and I have to say I'm impressed with this as you can see blended itself really. That also has to do with this refer brush that I'm using. That also does the work for me but just a little bit more smokiness to the look. Very simple. So I played with three of the shimmer colors because he has this very interesting glittery foily kind of formula in here and I have to say I love it after playing with these shadows. It is a beautiful lid topper kind of formula and they work well on their own so you'll see like like Sassy, Old Money, and Tease right here. These are all a shimmer formula. And these colors are like a foiled glitter formula. So I wanted to play with those. So I'm going to take some of Promiscuous on my finger. And it feels very light. It's not super creamy. It has a nice slip to it. And this is my inner corner kind of glitter. It doesn't really match the look too much. But I, I needed to put this color on my eye to test it out. Because it's 
ridiculously stunning. And then the next color I went into was Peacock right here. This is another really nice foiled glittery color and this is going in the center of my lid now if you use these wet or with a glitter glue the finish you're going to get is insane but i always love colors to speak for themselves on a demo and then we're taking some of riviera this is a hybrid between that foiled formula and the shimmer formula so it doesn't have much glitter to it but it has a stronger base to it and this is going on that last part of the lid right on top of the black and that's going to brighten everything up so i just use my fingers for this you can use a brush i just really like using my fingers for it i think it's the best way to do it okay lower lash line i would continue with this blue green because i think it's like stunning but i do want to show you more colors so we're gonna take royalty right here which is a shimmery purple shade and i'm gonna run this along my lower lash line once the color decides to adjust leaving just a little bit of space but i'm gonna blend that into the blue I mean, do you guys see how wonderfully these shadows are working? Even for a colorful pigment palette, like they aren't overly pigmented, they're easy to work with and they're buildable. And then we're taking a little bit of arm candy right here and I'm putting this right on the center of my lower lash line. And this brightens everything up. Paparazzi right here is that glitter formula. It's a yellow. This I'm going to run right on the inner corner and even down here just a little bit. Then the last color that we will be using is right to add just a pop of glitter. We're going to be digging into glam rock right here which is a light glittery shade. So I do have just a bit of fallout. I'm just going to take a brush, kind of clean up the area like so, and then take my sponge and clean that up. So I have to say, for a colorful pigment palette, this is really awesome. I mean, all of his palettes so far have been amazing. This is nothing short of that. I love the color story here, and I think what makes me the most excited about this palette are the different dimensions that you can get from this palette. Just the different finishes are really amazing. You have mattes, shimmers, and a really unique fun glittered foil formula which is super light on the eyes it's not too creamy which i actually really like it's just a great topper formula but they do stand out beautifully on their own so i mean for a colorful palette this is one of my favorites that i've ever tried i like that the mattes aren't too intimidating or hard to work with they're great for beginners if you are into colorful eyeshadows and trying to be a little bit more out there with your looks this is a great beginner beginner's palette because the colors are so easy to work with and they're not super packed with pigment. They are biddable, they're easy to work with, and everything blended beautifully. Very impressed with this. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to utilize the other palettes. I know I look crazy. It's really bothering me, but there are more to show. Now these I've already showed you in my other video that I will link you to. Those are my first impressions. I've now had time to play with these some more, so I did want to update you guys so we're gonna dig into the sculpting and contour palette so this for me at the beginning was the most intimidating palette it just the colors are very unique very different from most contour palettes that are out on the market so it can be a bit intimidating I've since played with just about every color on my face and I think this is really fun it really allows you to play around with different colors on the face but at the end of the day these are all really fantastic colors my personal personal favorite is Carve right here. I think this is just a great everyday kind of carving shade. Sliced is really nice to warm up the face. I even like chiseled as well for a really warm bronzy kind of look. So these three have kind of been my go-to. Diced is the perfect down the nose color for me, but all of these work very well. You can find different ways for them to work, but they still are flattering on the skin. So for today, we're going to use some of Sliced right here, which is an odd color but see just like this this is a blinged brush number f13 in case you're wondering so see it looks like an odd like pukey kind of color in the pan but i really like how it looks on the forehead it just adds a really fun color and i love mixing with this palette as i am going through this footage right now this color looks horrible on me it looks like puke okay anyways the video just goes downhill from here. My color choices, oh my. So, before you can comment, 
just know, I know. I will mix all of these colors just like Scott Barnes does and it just always creates something that I really like. So I don't have a lot of like colors like this for my face, nor do I need any more. And I really like it, but again, we're gonna mix because this is a bit yellow. Yeah, I think. So we're gonna take some of Chiseled to kind of warm it a little bit, like so. Get the outsides of the cheeks. Really easy to blend. This is just a really fun palette. I like it a lot. I have a big forehead, so I like a lot of product very low here. And then for fun, for the nose, we're gonna take Diced right here. And we're gonna just put this right down the middle of the nose. I'm making myself look dirty, but it's fine. <laughs> He needs to come out with a cream version of this palette. That would be phenomenal. <laughs> that actually is not too bad of a nose contour. Now we're gonna go into the Chic Cheek Palette, and this actually is probably my favorite palette of all of the palettes because I'm such a huge blush lover. So, hmm. So you can mix and match these colors. These two colors look great, even though they look intimidating. I'm gonna go in with Mango Fizz. I think this will be fun for the look that I have today. So this color in particular is not the most flattering for my personal skin tone, but I swear to you, there are skin tones that this is going to look really flattering. So again, I want to show you how this kind of layers because obviously this alone on my skin tone makes me look a little sick. For real, for real, like being completely honest though, like it really didn't look that bad in person. Like the camera, those lights, like <laughs> now I'm like rethinking all of my life decisions. But again, I like to mix. I want the undertone of my blush today to be more warm. And on top, we're taking Sweet Cheeks right here just to add that pop because pink bright blushes look super good on me. And okay, I know I look like a crazy woman right now. These blushes are very blendable. They're very pigmented, which I like. So you're going to work this into your cheek and i mean i definitely didn't apply a little bit too much i look a little bit clowny right now but it's a process put some on the nose so i will admit did go a little bit heavy-handed here but that's what a beauty blender is here for don't be afraid to take some translucent powder and kind of tone that down i think that that scott barnes blush palette great for medium skin tones because of how beautiful and pigmented they are. Okay, I like a little bit of a heavier blush, so I'm definitely happy with that. And then the last palette that I'm going to be using to complete this look is the Glowy and Showy Highlight Palette. This is a really nice highlight palette. It does kind of remind me of the Jaclyn Hill palette color-wise, not formulation-wise, but this is a glowy highlight palette. For me, I'm not really into shining bright like a star, but this is a really pretty highlighting palette. We're going to do Sugar Rush today. I don't think I've used this one yet. Oh, yeah, this blends beautifully into the blush. That's super pretty. For this being such like a glowy palette, I mean, the formula is incredible. Holy moly. Literally, like, he did such a good job with these palettes. I'm loving them. I've been loving them since I've tried them. I really have no complaints. And this actually looks super smooth on the skin. It like sits on the skin really pretty, which sometimes with highlighters, that's not the case, especially highlighters this glowy. But no, this like sinks into the skin pretty well and it makes you glow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish with liner lashes and all of that. And then you will see the look in its full completeness so i'll be right back all right so i am back here's the final look with the lashes and lips and everything really comes together when you put that stuff on but oh my gosh i am 110 percent obsessed with this look i think it is absolutely stunning basically i'm impressed by all of his palettes uh, as i've continued to use them more and more i become more and more impressed with them the palettes to me are very exciting i feel like there's a lot of different ways that you can use them i love mixing and matching the colors and the quality of his products are extremely simple to use. I honestly think that this 
type of formula is really great for makeup artists all the way to beginners because it's very forgiving. It's easy to blend out if you put too much on. It's easy to build if you want to add more. So I'm just in love with his formula in every aspect. Now this video was really focusing on the Color Bomb palette just because this was the only palette that I had not used and focused on since I didn't use it in my last video. And again, I am really in love with this palette. I love the colors. This palette at first I was I didn't purchase it. I ordered all of the other palettes except for this one because it is $80 and then I actually went back and repurchased it and I'm so happy that I did because it is such a beautiful palette. It is even more beautiful in person. You can still get neutral looks out of this palette. If you pair it with another palette that has some browns, you can play around with these colors and of course you have all of these that are really fun. He has a really wonderful glitter formula that I am so obsessed with. It's a very unique formula. There's not many brands that I've ever known to create a formula like this. Every single color that I've used is great in its own right. It does what it's supposed to do. Very easy, very blendable, and I am just really in love with this palette. I think I might like it more than the Snatch Roll, if I'm being honest. The Snatch Roll is great because it has great colors that are everyday friendly and just colors I would go for more on an everyday basis, but this palette is so fun and it's really unique, so I actually think I might like this one a little bit more. If you're going to use colors like these, this is amazing. He did a really fabulous job with this. Perfect ratio from mattes to shimmers to metallics and glitters and just an overall a great palette. You guys have been asking for this video so I hope that I delivered. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, have a good one.